role for a boxer would be punching, slipping, a lot of head movement, defensive, counter punching, but it's also the first Tuesday of the month, which means we're gonna start off with our PFT, our physical fitness test. We're gonna bang it out, a minute of each, of a couple of exercises, you know how it goes. So we're gonna get rolling with that. Before we even start this PFT, just give me a thumbs up, you're ready, you're here, you're with us. Give me a second to log in while we get, start getting moving and start getting warmed up. You do not need your gloves on yet, so don't put your gloves on yet. We're gonna get moving, we're gonna get warmed up, get those shoulders loosened up. We're just gonna start walking forward with big, forward, loose shoulder circles, and then walk backwards with backward shoulder circle. Forward to forward circles, just fling them forward, all the way forward. Then come backwards with backward circles. We're gonna start with a couple, a minute each of four different exercises before we get into the boxing. Every Tuesday here at peak, we're doing our physical fitness test. See where you're at. It's gonna be a minute of push-ups. Then you're gonna have a short, a little break for a minute or a minute. Then a minute of squat thrust, break, a minute of crawl outs, break, a minute of plank walk, and that's gonna be it. All right, let's fling that chest open, catch it for a stretch. Just for a second, one, one to three seconds. Fling it, catch it for a stretch. Fling it open and catch it. Keep moving, keep those feet moving at the same time. Fling it and catch it. We're gonna be here for a full hour training session. Just getting moving, just getting warmed up. Keep those feet moving. Even while I'm stretching and moving this, look, my feet are going. I'm getting that blood flowing. I'm getting ready to start breaking some shit, but I'm also getting ready, my body flowing, my body temperature up. We need to stretch our shoulders out. You're gonna be throwing tons of punches. We're also gonna get a lot of work in your waist, in your core today, with a lot of head movement and slips all day. Every combo today that once we get to the punching is gonna involve slips. So let's get that lower back and hips warmed up a little bit. So let's get dropped to the floor, tap your fingers to the floor, come up, breathe it out, open it up. Tap the fingers to the floor again, hands overlap, overhead, open up that upper back. Tap the floor, go at your own pace. We're not gonna go on counting these. We want you to go slow to get that stretch. If you need to hold a little longer at the bottom, hold a little longer. Overhead, out to the side. My bad. Overhead, out to the side. Oh, my bad. Fling it, open it up. We're just getting warmed up. Let's bounce, 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 bounce. Shake those arms out. Shake them. Get some blood flowing. We're going to start getting some, ready for some punching. Even though we're doing this PFT first, let's still get, get loosened up with some basic punches. Your one and your two. You don't need your gloves on yet. Straight left, straight right. Bounce around, flow around, little rhythm. And your one, two. Right down the middle. One, two. Your straight left is your one, your straight right is your two. Whatever hand's not punching stays up at your chin. Bounce around and flow. We're just getting warmed up before we do this couple minutes of the PFT. And then we start punching shit. Light on your feet. Breathe it out. Move around a little bit. Get those legs moving, get that blood flowing. We want that body temperature up, that heart rate up before we even start the PFT, that first set of push-ups. Breathe it out, breathe it out. Yes, boom, boom. Where we get some squat thrusts and crawls, those legs are gonna be moving. So let's get a quick stretch on the quads. Hold it for one to three seconds, heel to the butt. Leg you're standing on, stay slightly bent. So you have a strong stance, stretch it. Control your posture. Get those legs ready to work, get the whole body ready to move, ready to work. Stretch it. Let's roll. Couple more times each side. You hold it for as long as you need to. Anywhere from one to three seconds. Whatever works, doesn't matter. Yes, now we're gonna go fling these arms open without catching first stretch while you're walking forward and walking backwards. Fling it open, right arm on top, then left arm on top. Just keep switching it while you move around. You can walk in circles, whatever space you have, keep it moving, fling it, getting loose, getting moving. Yes, let's go back to those punches for a second. Hands up. Let's go with the three, our left hook, four, right hook. Reset. Three, four. So we can get those punches out of the way. So right after the PFT, we can get right to the work. We'll already have been warmed up, we already refreshed our punches. Three, four. Turn that, those hips. Pivot. The feet, the body's turning. You can see my hips are leading the way. Whatever hand's not pu punching, again, is up at your chin. No matter how fast you're going, there's always one up. Light in your feet, three, four. Move around a little bit, little flow, little rhythm. 
You don't have to be facing forward the whole time once you know the combo. Bounce, flow, rhythm. Warm it up. Yes. Let's roll. Move around, move around, move around. Shake those arms out. Bounce it. Shake it. Get that blood flowing. You're in the corner. You're ready to come out and destroy your freaking opponent. Bounce. Flow. We should have done this outside today. We should have done this workout outside. It's about 3 in the morning here for us. We should have done it outside and made some noise and wake up the damn neighbors. They need to get up. They need a little bit of peak freakness in their morning on a Tuesday. Let's roll. Keep those arms moving. Shake it out. All right, we're going to go with some knee hugs. Knee to your chest. Stretch it. Again, hold for one to three seconds. If you know if you need to hold it a little longer, hold it a little longer. Bouncing on that other leg at the same time. Let's do it. Stretch it. Stretch it out. You don't need your gloves on yet. You have a, a quick, the short PFT, and then I'm going to tell you about a longer PFT I want you to try on your own. You won't be able to try here, but it's a longer version of what we're going to do today that we all just did the other day. I posted about it on Instagram. So I'm going to tell you about that at the end of this. I want you to try it out. A little longer of a test. It's going to take you anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes. All right, we're going to go back to those stretches, the wide, feet wide apart, except check this out. We're going to come to the middle, open up. Then we're going to reach out to the right foot. Open up. Reach out to the left foot. Open up. Middle. Right. Open it up. Left. All right, middle again. Whatever. If you go middle in between, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You can even just go right. Fling open. Left. Fling open. If you want. Since we got the middle already, I need a little more of that. Twist is the right and left, so I'm going to go just right and left. You want to go middle in between? Go middle in between. Fling it. Yes. And we're going to now rotate those hips. I want you to just put your hands straight in front of you. You're just going to rotate your hips, pivoting your feet. See, my feet are pivoting. Whatever direction my hands go, the opposite foot's going to pivot. Just to get used to swinging those punches. And let's do it without, without pivoting the feet now. The feet are planted. So now I'm getting a little more work in the waist, not just the hips and legs. The arms are straight out in front of you. Just loosen up the hips, that's what we're doing. Loosen up the waist. And that's getting us ready for our uppercuts. Let's go with our uppercuts, our five, six. Reset. Five, six. Five is our left uppercut. Six is our right uppercut. A little crunch, dip, twist it in under that chin. Tyson's gonna be using Bob here today. He's gonna be beating the shit out of Bob. He is perfect for uppercuts with that chin sticking out. Five, six. I'll be punching the air. And I'll be, I'll be getting a workout just in the air to show you, you don't even need a bag. You don't need any space to get in the best shape of your life. So it's time to stop making the freaking excuses. If you can see that on the Facebooks and the Instagrams. Light, smooth, flow, rhythm. Five, six, boom. Let them flow, bounce, rhythm, boom, boom. And good, time, shake it out. All right, we're gonna do what you need to do to get ready for this next set. We have push-ups for a minute coming up. So it's just going to take hit these four exercises, one minute each. We're going to get back on to the boxing. So just get ready. Get your space set up. Now listen. Check this out. A push-up in a, a peak freak push-up is actually more strict than any military, any police academy, any of that type of push-up where you bring your chest only down to three inches. A peak physique push-up, you need to touch your chest to the floor and fully extend your arms. Also, your feet need to be touching, heel to heel, toe to toe. So I need to bring my chest to the floor. Chest touches the floor, feet are touching, arms have to fully extend. When, when, you, when in other fitness tests, your feet can be apart, it's a cheat. Chest doesn't touch the floor, that's a cheat. We want real, full, deep, freaking push-ups. So we're gonna do this for 60 seconds. I'm gonna count it out for you. We're going to be here on the timer, 60 second push up, going in three, two, one, and begin, 60 seconds. I'd have to back way up from Facebook to see me, but I need your chest touching the floor. Instagram to see me, Tyson's banging them out. I need your chest touching the floor, fully extend your arms. You can't see me on Facebook, but you know what a push up is, but I want to make sure you're doing them. 
Pumping it out. Tyson's banging him out. Now look at his chest is touching the floor the entire time. You're going for 60 seconds. That's only been 25 seconds. Keep rolling. Breathe it out. Exhale on the way up. In through your nose on the way down. Out through your mouth on the way up. Breathe it out. In through the nose down. Chest has to touch. Now again, of course, if you need to modify, you modify, you do a modified push-up. But when you test yourself, make sure you're using the same modification every time. So if you're only going halfway down, go to that exact depth every time so you have consistency week to week or month to month on your testing so you can see where you're at. You're almost there. You're almost there. You're at 54 seconds. You got five seconds to go. Bang them out. Get what you can. Three seconds. Two. Time. And you're on recover. So you're going to get a, a minute and a half, two minute break here in between. Move it. Stretch your shoulders out. Like that. Killing it. Banging it out. While I'm sitting here yapping, little freak show over here banging out some push-ups. Good thing I have to coach them. I wasn't able to do that. I'm sorry I couldn't join you with the push-ups, but I had to make sure they were doing the right technique and I had to talk to them, explain things to them because push-ups are very, very difficult exercise to explain. So that's why I couldn't do it. Yeah, next time, next time, next time. So yes, next coming up is a squat thrust. So you're going to squat down. I'm going to angle this down for Facebook just to make sure you can see us on the floor. Boom, there it is. So... Well, now it's just zoomed in, zoomed in on my cross, but whatever. So you're going to be here. You're going to squat down, jump your feet back to a full push-up position, jump forward, stand straight up. It hips extended, so don't come up to where you just slumped here. You have to extend those hips on the squat thrust. So down, jump back. We didn't start yet. I'm just showing you. I have a two-minute break here. It's on the clock. We're about 50 seconds left. So there's our squat thrust. I'm gonna angle this again. You'll be able to see Freak Show. All right, so the, the, the keys you have to make sure you do is you squat down to get down there so you're not just dropping your hands forward. You're jumping your feet back to a full push-up position, jump your feet forward, and then stand up. That's how you need to do it. It needs to be sharp, four count movement. One, two, three, back up for four. We're going. In a couple of seconds here, we're at 145. We have 15 seconds. You have two minutes in between here. After that, we get rolling for the boxing. This is just what we do at the first Tuesday of every month. We hit our PFT. So this is what we're at, where we're at right now. We're going in three, in two. You're on squat thrust at home. In one, boom, 60 seconds. Let's see it. How many can you get? Bang them out. Bang them out. Put this down on little freak show. He's going to get more than me, I'll tell you that. So squat thrust, you are down, jumping back, stand straight up. Squatting down, jump back, stand straight up. Right there, yes. Nice work, you got 25 seconds in, 35 seconds to go. Keep banging it. So you can see his feet are apart when he jumps forward. So he can squat up and squat down. Look how his feet when he jumps forward are apart, not together, you'd screw up your knees. When you jump back, he's bringing his feet together when he jumps back, which is also even harder. You could technically jump back with your feet apart if you want. So you got 15 seconds. Breathe it out. And when he comes up, he's standing up straight. See, his hips are completely extending when he comes up, not slumped over. These are picture-perfect squat thrusts from Little Freak Show over here. And time. Nice set. Killing it. Killing it. Yes. Get you back up top just while we're in between and yapping. So coming up next is going to be the crawl out. So the squat thrust, your, your, your hands stay in place and your feet move. The crawl out, your feet are going to stay in place and your hand moves. So you're going to start with a wide base. You're going to squat down, crawl your hands all the way to a full push-up position, totally straight, crawl them back in, and then stand straight up. Once you start the set, I'll put it down so you can see the, the technique and the form. Let's put it down just to give you a technique. So you're on a, on a break here. For two minutes, you already lost 30 something seconds. So here, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at me on the screen there. So you're gonna have wide stance. See, my feet are wider than the shoulder width. I'm gonna squat down, crawl my hands out to a full push up position, crawl them back in, and all the way up straight to full hip extension. All right, let's get shake, shake it out. Listen, in between here, you need to be shaking out. Sip your water in between before you go to this ne each next exercise. Stretch those shoulders, stretch them, shake them, move them, get those quads ready. You want to keep the blood flowing. 
Catch your breath. Big deep breaths in between here. Into your nose. Two or three seconds. Get that those squats up, bang it out for a minute. Your heart rate should be jacked through the freaking roof if you went all out, and I know you freaking did. So let's get ready for these crawl outs. We got less than 30 seconds and we're rolling. Less than 30 seconds and we're rolling on the crawl out. Instagram can see us because we're up and down. Facebook, we are straight across. We kept it here. We kept it here for straight across on Facebook because you can't switch it during the workout on Facebook. Otherwise, it'd be sideways because we wanted you to be able to see the boxing technique. It's all punching today, so we have to be lined up this way for Facebook. That's why I just have to move it for the PFT because none of the real workout for the boxing is on the floor. So we kept it this way for you on Facebook so you can see Bob get his ass whooped. Tyson's going to break him. He's going to break him down. All right, let's get ready for those crawl outs going in three, two, one. Begin, 60 seconds. Crawl outs. Look at those hands. Look at those fast hands of his going out. Go sideways here so they can see you. Back up, towards me. So he's crawl, squatting down, going out to full push up position. And when he stands up, look at his hips come straight. Look at that. Ex exaggerating that extension in the hips at the top position. So he's not staying slumped forward, not cheating. Going no faster than freaking perfect. No faster than perfect, but look, he's still going full speed. If that, you don't stop at that out position, you come right back in. You don't stop at the top, you go right back down. As long as you're straight in the out position and straight in the up position. That's all you gotta worry about. So you're crawling out. Yeah, sure, you little midget. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to keep up with you, you freak. You little freak. Rolling it out. You got 10 seconds, five seconds, four, pump it, squeeze as many as you can, three, two, get one more in, time. Shake it out, recover. We're gonna keep you on Facebook on this low one, on the crotch cam, because yes, I call it the crotch cam. Well, for you, it's normal. You're just right in the Facebook. They need to be able to see the floor. But look, when I stand there, it's just showing my legs. That's a little weird, but whatever. Next is gonna be a, last one is gonna be now you're down here. Now you can see me. Last one's going to be a plank walk. You're starting from a low plank on your forearms, walking up to a high plank. So check it out. So my elbows are parallel to each other. Forearms are parallel to each other. Feet are together touching. And my elbows line up directly under my shoulder. Look where my hand is on the floor. My hand is here. And my elbow's here, right? So my hand needs to come off and touch exactly where my elbow was. Up to the top. And my elbow has to come right where my hand is now. Boom. Boom. So I'm not doing this. Look. See, my hands are not just rolling up and rolling down. I actually come off for that split second to come up from the top to the bottom position. It's a plank walk. We call this a plank walk. Go from a high plank to a low plank. It's the last one after this two minute break. Whoops. After this two minute break, <laughs> coming up. And then we get on to punching some stuff, beating the shit out of Bob, and I'm gonna beat the shit out of the air. While we're here, you don't have your gloves on yet. While we're here, put in the comments if you are following this live, if you're doing a recording, put in replay. Instagram, we got some Instagram freaks watching, follow along. Someone's counting away at the like button. I don't know who. I'm trying to scroll, see if any, any comments there. If you have any questions, comments here on this break, put it in there. Can't see the comments. So there we go. Hello from Naples. What's up? All right, let's get set up. Plank walk. Tyson's gonna get set up down there on the mat. Back up this way. Go this way. See you. Little freak. I was here. Feet here. Going in three, two, one, and bam! We are on the clock. See, his hand is coming off, ending up. Elbow ending up where the hand was. Why do I get the concrete? This is bullshit. You get a nice little comfy mat and I get concrete? You can go right like, oh, you think it's funny, huh? You can go right arm first, you can go left arm, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, don't let me hold you back. Don't be distracted. Pump it out. Heist Tyson's banging it out. No, this is not a replay. Trish Black, you're not watching a replay from Canada. Trish Black is, is following along from Canada, but this is not a replay, this is live. Unless you're gonna do it replay later. You're gonna do the workout later. But you are with us live right now from Canada. Pumping it out, pumping it out. We got 10 seconds. 
Don't stop, don't fade, tighten up. See his body staying straight as possible. There's gonna be a little wiggle room in there, but you can stiffen it up. Keep it tight as you're moving. And time. Nice work, nice work. All right, we're gonna reset this camera up high because we're done with that floor stuff. So we can see Bob get his ass whooped. Got you on both cameras. All right, recover. Make sure you recorded your time, your reps you got for each of those exercises, your push-ups, your squat thrusts, your crawl outs, and your plank walks. Get your gloves ready. Hands wrapped if you need to. We're just gonna be using gloves today. Make sure you're ready, rock and roll. We're good on both cameras, we are good. So get your gloves ready, we're gonna start off nice and smooth, nice and easy. Getting going on the punches. We already went through the basics in the warm up, so we don't need to spend time going through the basic punches. And listen, Whenever we go through warm up, basic punches in a warm up, right? Don't think, oh, I already know this stuff. First of all, the worst thing you could ever say in any area of life is I A K T. I already know that. That's just asinine to ever say anything. That's just a horrible way to look at shit whenever you're doing something. And in boxing, too. You can never get enough practice throwing your punches. There's only six punches. Obviously, you can do different variations of them and body punches and, and whatever. But you can never get enough practice throwing a punch. You can never throw a jab too many times. You're going to always practice it. So when we go through these practices and these warm-ups, take it serious. Don't just go through the motion like, oh, I already know this jab. I already know that. I-A-K-T. Don't ever be an I-A-K-T person. And yes, I live with acronyms. We're, we're a Marine Corps family. We're not that bright. We have to make acronyms for everything. We have to break everything down into just simple letters. Like, look, United States Marine Corps, USMC. That's the way we do it so we don't forget it. If I can do an acronym for my name so I wouldn't forget it, I would, but S-T-E-V-E -E is not too long, so I figured it out. All right. Let's get our gloves on. Let's get ready to roll. We're going to start off simple. If you have a bag, you can go right to the bag right now. You're already warmed up, so you don't need to go in the air. If you want to do a couple rounds in the air to get warmed up a little more of the punches, do what you got to do. He's going to be here. Sideways, I'll be right here in front of you. So we're on the side. Instagram can catch me on the side. Facebook's got us. We are ready to roll. All right, so we're going to start with just a slip one. So slips are just moving your body side to side, bending at the waist. A real way to think about doing the technique of a slip is to take your opposite shoulder. If I want to slip to this left, don't forget, this is opposite like a mirror because it's Facebook. If I want to slip to the left, I'm going to dip my left shoulder or my right shoulder about 45 degrees, and that's going to get my head, see, my head off center. If I want to go this way, I'm just dipping this shoulder a little bit. But my hands are staying up. So all I'm doing is side to side. But a little dip with a little bend in the knees and a little dip of the shoulder to keep me protected. It's just taking my head getting it out of the way. So let's start with just a slip one. Slip one. So I'm going to slip left, slip left, and throw a one. Bounce around. Slip one. That's it. Simple. Slip one. Lean to the left, throw left. Real simple. Real simple. Gonna hit a few of them. It's very basic. We're gonna do a million variations of this. And we're gonna be slipping all day. Slip one. So I'm leaning to the left, throw the left. Lean left, throw left. Alright, let's go slip two. Lean right, throw right. Slip two. Get my head out of the way. Boom! Going to straight right. You're going to throw a pace here. While I'm talking and explaining stuff and yippity yapping and all this other bullshit, you just keep punching away. What do we got? Doing the workout later on replay. Yes, from that was Trish in Canada doing the workout later on the replay. Just checking in. Nice. I like it. Shh, shh. Hands up. Shh, shh. Bang it. Bang it. Bang it. Slip two. So even for our hooks and our uppercuts today, we're doing just slips. We're not doing any blocks or ducks today. Let's go to the other side. Slip three. Slip three. Hands up. Reset. Slip three. Left hook. Slip three. Crunch. Boom. So you're going to get tons of work here in your abs, in your core. They're going to be working. They're going to be on fire. The hips, the waist, the obliques, the lats. That's what we're looking for. Slip. Boom. Three. Reset. Bounce. Look, I'm going to see. I'm not just going. Slip. Three, slip, three, boom, like a robot. I'm getting good, effective, full speed, power punches, reset. Slip three. Damn, what did Bob ever do to you? Does he owe you money or some shit? Trying to knock his head off. 
bounce it. Whoa, boom, I like it. See that slip is like a rubber band pulling back and then boom, get the power on this. Look at Bob getting his jaw jacked. Uh, don't cock it back too much. Get your stance, get that rhythm, get that flow. Hands up, slip, three. Let's go to the other side, slip, four. Crunch, boom, and four, right hook. Slip, four, bam, bam, bam. Keep those hands up, you're rocking. Your hands not punching. Remember that when you're slipping, those hands are staying up, and then it's coming out for the punch. Slip, four. Bang it, bang it. Slip, four, boom. Hands up. Little rhythm, little flow, boom, boom. We're flowing, we got some rhythm, some bounce, some bounce in our slip. And let's go slip five to the left. Now we're gonna slip left, crunch in with a left uppercut, and reset, reset after each one. Keep those elbows in tucked, get a chin tuck, hands up. Even though we're working for fitness, for weight loss, we're gonna use real boxing punching technique, real effective technique. Slipping, left uppercut. You're just getting your head out of the way of a punch. And look, that's actually a wind up to boom, to drop the bomb, drop the hammer with that left uppercut, that lead hand uppercut. Just because you're right and that's your power hand, don't mean that's all. You can get tons of power on your lead hand. And think about it, that lead hand is closer to your opponent, so you could get some quicker connection. Slip five. Yes, yes, yes. Crunch, boom, the abs are already feeling it, the waist is feeling it. Stay loose, you have to bounce around. You're gonna start feeling too much stiffness in your lower back. Don't overdo these slips. You shouldn't be leaning all the way over like this. It's just a little dip with the shoulders. See, my knees and my shoulder are doing this. Slip five, crunch, boom. And last one on this side, slip six. Slip six, bounce and flow in between. Wake your ass up early in the morning, wake your Neighbors up. Get the head out of the way. That slip is just a setup. It's a wind up, crunch, boom, and time. Shake it, shake it, shake it. We are just getting rolling. All right, all right, freak, we're done, we're done, we're done with round. He's just ready to keep punching. He doesn't even hear the damn bell. Just ready to rock. Who do you know, damn break? Who do you need a damn break for? All right, next we're gonna make this, we're just gonna add a punch onto this. A punch in the beginning. So we did slip and one. This round we're going to start with a punch. It's going to be punch, slip, punch with the same punch. So we're, it's going to be all the six punches, but it's going to be punch, slip, punch, same side. So we're going to start off with one, slip, one. This is going to flow. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be because that first punch is getting the momentum, pop, then slip to a second pop, which is going to be even harder because it's coming off that bend. Let's do it going in three, two, one, and let's flow. One, slip, one, reset. Let the speed of your breathing match the speed of your punches and your movement. See in between, I have this little flow, this little rhythm. One, slip, one, right there, hands up. Let's do it. One, slip, one, bounce. Bounce around, you can move around, you can even circle around, you don't have to face the camera once you have it down. Move around, use the space in your house, punch some walls, knock some shit over, break a freaking lamp, who cares? Move the damn couch out of the way. Get your ass up off that couch and keep moving. One slip, one. That's what we're doing, we're moving. Oh, we're flowing. Now we're feeling it. Get that rhythm, get your flow up. Get your hands up, find that rhythm. Yes, I love the one slip one, it just flows. It just flows, you stick those those long, lanky arms out there, reaching out and touching someone's chin. Ha, 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 yeah. Bounce around, bounce around, getting that blood blowing. Hands up. Boom, boom. One more. And let's go with that two, same game. So it's gonna be a two, slip, boom. It's gonna be hard right hand. So you're getting that hip into it, Bam, pivot, crunch, boom, and a second one, just double pumping, going in three, two, one, bam, two, slip, two, let's do it, two, slip, two, 
hands up, bounce, blow, head movement. Move around a little bit, around that target. You don't have to stay still. Yes. These are power, you're turning. Boom, pivot that foot. Crunch, and then boom, a second pivot. Power from the hips. Power's coming from the ground up from the legs. Hands up in between. Let them blow, let them fly. Two slip, two. Yeah. Boom, chop, boom. Hands up, head movement. Bouncing the step, move around a little bit. Two slip, two. Move around, move around, move around. Different angle. You don't have to be facing the camera the whole time. Yes. One more. Time. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Keep those shoulders loose, stretch them out. Because when you're punching, you're holding up here, your neck, your shoulders are crunching up. Extend those out, that head up. Circle that neck around, get some neck bends. To the right, to the left, circle and right, circle and left. While you're shaking this out in between, we're just getting moving. So we're on threes. Three, slip, three. So I'll just show you quick before we get started. So it's left hook, slip left, boom. That second left hook is gonna be a freaking monster, a bomb coming off of that slip. Let's go in three, two, one, it's Three, slip, three. Boom, let's go, let's do it. Three, slip, three. Let's look at a little freak show back here. Look at this, look at these bombs, these left hooks. Keep going head to head. Now look at the body. Oh, that's liver shot. Left hook to the body, if you don't know it. Left hook to the body is in the right side of their body, which is right in the liver. If you've never been punched with a clean shot to the liver, it has a delayed effect. I've been kicked to the liver before. Literally by like a 145 pound guy that was like 190, 195. And it hits you, and then a couple of seconds later, it just your whole body just wants to shut down. You don't want to get hit to the liver. Check the damn ribs. But that's his left hook. That vicious left hook this kid is doing. Boom, that will shut you down. Oh, look at that. Right on the money. That is accurate liver shot right there. Left hook to the body. Don't neglect your body shots. We didn't tell him to do it. He's just automatically working it in there. But look at that. Oh, oh. Bob is going to have some broken ribs. He's going to be spitting up rib bones out of his mouth. He's going to be drinking soup through a straw for a while with his jaw shot. Look at that broken jaw. Ooh, vicious. Three slip, three. Left hook, slip, left hook. Bounce and blow. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Three, slip, three. Get that right hand up this whole time. See, this, this is all left side, right? So look, look where my right hand is here. It's here the whole time. Three. This comes back in for the slip, popping back for that next. Boom. And I'm pivoting my feet, turning the hips. Move around. Three, slip, three. Get that waist moving. Your power punches. Three, slip, three. One more. Shake it, shake it, shake it. You know we're going right away to the other side. To the right side. To the power hand. And listen, make, make both hands power hands. Because what you're going to do is you break your right hand. Your injured right hand. You need to be able to do some damage left with one hand. Let's do it. We're going fours. Four, slip, four. Four, slip, four. So that's right hook. Slip right. Boom! No right hook. Listen, ask that slip. Use that slip as a wind up band. See Tyson loading up on that second one, but it's quick. It's like a rubber band pulling, coiling back, and then exploding like a freaking venomous snake. Sing it out, stinging them with some venom. Four, slip, four. Use those legs for the slips too. This should be a total body movement. Do not just stand flat footed and do this and bend in this. You know. Fuck up lower back. Don't do that. The legs are doing the slip. It's just a bend in the legs and a little bit to the side. That's it. Just get my head off center. That's it. That's it. Not a duck, but it's a slip. Four, slip, four. Hands up. 
Let's move. Four, slip, four. Bounce, low. Fly, let him fly. We're punching today. All boxing, all punching. Getting your punches in. We don't need, we're not going to be killing any time and any exercises in between. We just want thousands of punches thrown. One more, one more. Time. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Round. Breathe it out. Big deep breaths in between. You know we got uppers coming up. That's our five. So that's gonna be five, slip, five. It's just all, oh, look at this, five is a crunch in the waist, boom, slip, I'm crunching, and then another crunch, just tons of ab work. Listen, you do this shit right, you never have to do an ab exercise the rest of your life. Every, every, every exercise is an ab exercise, your abs should be strong every second of every set. Always strong, always working, that's why it's called the core. It's the center, it's connecting the upper and the lower, it's making the upper and lower work together. That's what it's all about, that's what's holding you together with these punches and for all this movement. Let's do it, five, slip, five. Left upper cut, come on. A lot of pumping in that waist. Five, crunch, five. Five, slip, five. More round, this one's a fun one, because it's bam, 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 you're just crunching on that same side. It's also a little unexpected with your opponent. First to throw a lead left uppercut, if it's there, boom. Getting out of the way, and then another one even more vicious. That's what we're looking for. Keep those hands up. Flow. Five, slip, five, yes. Bounce and flow. Move it around, move it around, keep those hands up. Move your feet. Five, slip, five. Let it flow, let it flow. The right hand is not punching, so it stays up this entire time. Yes. Coming under that chin, think of that uppercut. Boom, come right under the chin. If it's to the body, it's uh, right into the gut. Five, slip, five. Working that waist. Time. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Right coming up, right away. We're gonna go right to it, the right side. Six, slip, six. Shake it, move it, keep that neck loose, keep those shoulders loose in between on these couple seconds as we reset in between rounds, in between combos. Let's do it. So we're on six, slip, six. Let's do it, let's move. It's just, it's so simple, it's just one type of punch, but you get plenty of work with those slips and with those footwork and with just the freaking intensity you're bringing to the table. You need to go full speed on this stuff. There it is, move around. Slip, six, six, slip, six, and move. Yeah, boom, crunch, boom. So it's a twist and a crunch, bam. Crunch, boom, slip, six, slip, six. Doing some air punches at the coffee maker before I hop in the car to drive to work. Yes, that's how you do it, that's how you do it. Get that shit in whenever you can. Little, that'll just get your day started in the right mindset. Ready to attack the day, we call it attacking the hill. Keep punching, keep punching. You see the obstacles in your day, you see the obstacles in your way, you see the obstacles in your life. Those big mountains, those big roadblocks, all that adversity, all the craziness going on in the world. So let the rest of the world run away from it. You run towards it, you attack it, you make the bold moves and take the risks and do the unexpected shit. That's what you do, you run towards the gunfire while everyone else runs away. Six, crunch, six. Attack the hill. Boom, boom, boom. Hands up, hands up. Move around, move around. Six, crunch, six. Yeah. Those abs. Bounce. Look at this, roll over the place. You have that energy, have some speed. This is where most, a lot of the work is. A lot of the fat burning, the calories in this footwork around. Setting up those punches. Don't just stand flat-footed. Don't just stand in place. Move around, bounce around, flow. Yeah, couple more. Boom, crunch, boom. And time, shake those out, shake it, move around, shake, breathe. 
Stretch those shoulders. Stay loose. Keep it moving. Now keep punching. You want to punch, killer? Oh. Crazy wants to keep punching. He don't need a damn break. He's in the zone. So we're going to play that same game. Punch, slip, punch. Except the second punch is going to be opposite of the first. So let me show you real quick why you're shaking it out. Stay hydrated. Stay moving. Stay loose. So we did last round. One, slip, one, right? I love the way that feels. But this is going to feel just as good or even better. So we're going to go one. But instead of slipping to the left, we're going to go one, slip to the right, two. So it's setting up the punch on the opposite side. Then we'll do three, slip, four, and all those, all those different variations. So let's go one, slip, two. It's going to be a little more awkward after the one to lean right, but you'll get it after a few. So try it out in the air. Let's get ready to freaking rock. So let's do it. We're going one, slip, two. One, slip, two. Right there. That two's going to be hard. One, slip, two. And bounce and flow. Bounce it around. One, slip, two, hands up. Oh yeah, move around, move around. You don't gotta stay in place. Circle around, once you got to calm it down, you don't need to see it on the camera. You don't need to be looking at my ugly face the whole time. Break it down for you so it's a one, slip right, two, which is your straight right. So straight left, lean right, straight right. One, slip, two. Let them fly. Let us each move. Set up the next move. You're bouncing. Getting that blood flowing. Keeping that body temperature up. Keeping the energy levels high. Getting ready to kick ass into your day. Getting ready to kick ass in freaking life. One, slip. Two. Oh, yeah. Right away, we're going to switch over to two. Slip. One. Right to it. We're going to go right to it. Same, the opposite. So now two, slip, one. So you're throwing a straight right, lean, dip to the left. So after that straight right, it's kind of flowing. Boom. This one flows nice. Two, slip, one. Keep it moving. You can see Tyson's technique there. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at the little freaks. Two, slip, one. Oh, yeah. We are moving. We are working. Two, slip, one. Start slowing this together a little quicker. For something like this, get some combos in. Some of those rounds get more footwork, some of those rounds get more punches in. Mix it up. The arm need a break, then you just move around a little bit and flow. Then you throw it. Or you can just kind of stay in place a little bit, still bouncing, flowing with rhythm. Knee set, two slip, one. Time. We're going straight through on these. We're going to be working. We're going three, slip, four. So check this out. Left hook, lean right, right hook. That's it. Three, slip, four. Going in three, two, one, go. Boom, boom, boom. So left hook, get out of the way, right hook. Might be a little chop in there between, that's fine. That's you getting out of the way of a punch, so do what you gotta do, make it work. Just ride the wave of that left hook. Winding up that right hook. Three, slip, four. Use those legs that slip, don't forget. Dip the shoulder. So after I throw this, I'm dipping the shoulder to get out of the way. Bang, powered out with a right hook. Keeping it moving. Three slip, four. Three slip, four. A couple more. We're doing all these straight through it, one round. All the variations. Three slip, four. There's bombs Tyson throwing back here. Killing it. Oh man, broken ribs for Bob. All right, right away, other side, four, slip, three. So four, slip, 
Boom, with a hard left hook. Let's do it. Go right hook, slip, left hook. Go, we're up, we're up, we're moving. No breaking between these rounds. We're flowing together. Four, flip, three. So that's right hook, lean to the right, left hook. Let it flow. Chain it together. Hands up, four, slip, three. So it's floor, four, pivot, hit, boom. So it's not just a four, three. Make sure you're getting that slip in between. Four, dip, boom. Hands up, hands up. Four, crunch, boom. And right away, we're going five, slip, six. Five, slip, six. This one's just chopping side to side. I like the flow, I like the rhythm. Show me what you got at home. Everyone who's got some rhythm somewhere in your body. If I can find some rhythm in this coordinate, uncoordinated clumsy body, you can find rhythm at home. Let's do it. Five, slip, six. So left upper, crunch right, right upper. This one feels good in the abs. This is an ab work right here. Just make sure you're getting the dips with the knees and the shoulders on these slips, your whole body, not just your waist and stiff legs. You're gonna screw up the lower back. It's gonna get too tired, too sore instead of working. Let's on this one. Five, crunch, six. Five, crunch, six, yeah. Five, crunch, six. Five, slip, six. Hands up, boom, boom, boom. And right over the other side. Six, slip, five. Last one for this segment. Let's do it. We're working. Six, crunch, five. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Moving around. Six, crunch, five. Hands up, hands up, boom, boom, boom. We are having fun, we're bouncing, we're flowing. Kicking ass, boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, let's go. Time, shake it, shake it, shake it. We're not taking any real break here, we're gonna keep flowing through because we did that fitness test in the beginning, although it was work, we wanna make sure we get all of our enough boxing in. Ray, Ray Carr just joined us. Ray Carr joined us. All right, so we're gonna get, we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna go floor race the next one. You don't even know damn break because you did that beginning fitness test at the beginning, but you had breaks in between those. So right here, we're gonna fly through these. We're gonna go slip, slip, one, two. This one's gonna be easy. We're just gonna slip to the right, slip to the left, one, two, right down the middle. It's just slip, slip, one, two. Let's do it. We're going in three, in two, in one, and slip, slip, one, two, right down the middle. Hands up. There it is. There it is. Slip, slip, one, two. Oh yeah, move around, flow, we need some speed, we need some rhythm. Bounce and flow. Let's go Facebook, keep moving, Instagram, keep moving. Bouncing your step, light on your feet. You're up, you're moving. Hands up, hands up. Slip, slip, one, two. Let's go right to the other side. Slip, slip, two, one. We're just flowing. We are flying through this. Slip, slip, two, one. That's straight right. So you slip left, slip right, throw right, throw left. Let's do it. Slip, slip, two, one. Move around, move around, flow. We need some speed, we need some energy. High energy here, high energy. Bounce your step, ready to break the air, ready to break, break your enemy, break whoever's in your damn way. Slip, 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 two, one. Move. Bounce. Light on your feet. Let's do it. Time. All right, we're gonna change that up a little bit. It's gonna be slip one, slip two. So check it out. Slip one, slip two. Stick with the ones and twos for now, just to stay in that rhythm. Slip one, slip two. Going in three, two, one. 
And let's do it. Slip one, slip two. Slip one, slip two. So lean left, throw left, flow, lean right, throw right. That's it. Look at that flow in the, in the waist, in the ribs, in the obliques. This is how you get in shape. This is how you get flat, strong, functional core. This is the way you get it. Round, round between. Slip one, slip two. Slip one, slip two. Move your whole body on these. Using those legs. Hands up. Slip one, slip two. Let's go. We're deep into this thing. We are deep into this thing. Do it, let's do it. Slip one, slip two. Bounce and flow. Here it is, here it is. Time. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. We're gonna go slip, slip, three, four. Slip, slip, three, four right here. Easy stuff. So we're gonna slip right, slip left, left hook. Right hook, slip, slip, three, four. This one gets power. Those double slips are winding up, getting some momentum, ready to break those hooks. Let's do it, slip, slip, three, four. Lean right, lean left, left hook, right hook. Let's do it. Vicious, vicious hooks. Move around. Slip, slip, three, four. Lean right, lean left, left hook, right hook. All flowing. Each move is just another piece of the puzzle. Each move is setting up the next move. That's the way it goes. It's just a big game, big flow. Oh yeah. There it is, there it is. Time, we're going right away. We're gonna go slip four, slip three. We're gonna hit so many different variations in this. So we're gonna go slip four, slip three. Get it, so it's defense, offense, defense, offense, starting on the right side. Slip four, slip three, you got it? Slip four, slip three. Look at that work. You can see, look at my hips and waist. It's slip, look at that crunching, then turning this way, crunching, turning this way. So much work in your core. There, it's on fire. Just make sure you're keeping it controlled and letting the legs and the shoulders lead the way towards stabilizing you. Slip four, slip three. Crunch, boom, crunch, boom. Get that dip. Slip four, slip three. Bombs, bombs, bombs. Yes, yes, yes. Hands up, slip four, slip three. Hands up, boom, boom, breathe, flow. Slip four, slip three. Couple more. If you're not out of breath. If you're not sweating, your abs aren't working, you're doing something wrong, you're bullshitting. Time. All right, we're gonna put a bunch of these together. Let's put a bunch of these together. Where are we at? Ooh, 55. We're gonna get, yeah, to that fitness test in the beginning. All right, we're gonna put all these together. Check it out. We're gonna go slip, slip. One, two, slip, slip. Three, four, slip, slip. Five, six. All the chain. I'll walk you through it nice and slow. So we've been building up to this whole time. I'll walk you through it because you need, it's, you need to be specific on what side you're slipping to first on the slip slip because you want to end up on the punching side. So we're always going to be slipping to the right side first now since our first punch is with the left. So check it out. We're going to be on slip, slip, one, two, slip, slip, three, four, slip, slip, five, six. Not that hard. It sounds a lot harder than it is. Slip, slip, one, two, slip, slip, three, four, slip, slip, five, six. 
Let's roll going in three, two, one, boom. We're gonna hit this for a good two minutes, two, three minutes. It's just a long combo. I'm walking through in the beginning. Tyson's already got it, I'm sure. It's simple. Slip, slip, one, two, slip, slip, three, four, slip, slip, five, six. Got that? I'll walk you a little slower just to make sure you got it. So you're slip right, slip left, go straight left, straight right. Slip right, slip left, left hook. Right hook, slip right, slip left, left upper, right upper. I think you got it. If you already have it, go drone speed. I'll go one more time a little slower, and then we're gonna get keep rocking. If you already have it down, you should be flowing full speed. It's just slip, slip, one, two, slip, slip, three, four, slip, slip, five, six. Simple shit right there. Simple. Once you get it down, it's like, oh, that's what it is. Why do I have such a hard time? This is some easy shit. Let's do it. Come on. Hands up, let's flow. There it is, let those hands fly. Keep them up. One, two, slip, slip, three, four, slip, slip, five, six. Oh yeah, we changed all that together. Those abs are working. Move it around, bounce it around. Look at this flow. Making me look bad, making me look slow and weak. Hand those together like that, and it's a, a little burst. It's a little shock. You're gonna feel it, your whole body head to toe working here. Slip, slip, one, two, slip, slip, three, four, slip, slip, five, six. Oh yeah, the whole body's working. We're moving. We're bouncing. We're flowing. Get them up. Get them up. There it is. There it is. Slip, slip, one, two, slip, slip, three, four, slip, slip, five, six. One more time, one more time, come on. Shake it, all right? We're gonna start with the fours this time. We're gonna go slip. Slip two, slip one, slip four, slip three, slip six, slip five. So instead of one, two, it's gonna be two, one. It's gonna be a two, one, a four, three, and a six, five with a slip in between every one. So we hit this all different variations, up and down, inside out and backwards. Finish it strong, let's do this. So it's gonna be slip, two, slip, one, slip, four, slip, three, slip, six, slip, five. Got that? Let's see if you got it. I showed it to him one time, we've never done this workout before, never practiced before, this is the first time this workout's ever been done, let's see if he's got it. Slip two, I, I was started two this time. Slip two, slip one. Slip one, slip four. There we go. There it is. Look at that. He can figure it out that quick, so can you. Let's do it. I'll walk you through it. Let's go. Slip two, slip one, slip four, slip three, slip six, slip five. You're just bending the weight side to side. Get out of the way, make them miss, make them pay. Make them miss, make them pay. Let's do it. Slip two, slip one, slip four, slip three, slip six, slip five. Just rocking side to side, leaning into those punches, exploding out. Let's do it. Slip two, slip one, slip four, slip three, crunch six, crunch five. Just leaning to the side that you're punching with. This is easy. Lean to the right, throw the right. Lean to the left, throw the left. Lean to the right, right hook. Lean to the left, left hook. Lean to the right, right upper. Lean to the left, left upper. See how when I go slow, you can see that extra little dip after the punch. So dip, punch, dip, punch, dip, boom, dip, boom, dip, boom, dip, boom. Working in 360 degrees all over the place. Move around, go at your own pace, keep it moving. Facebook, keep it moving to Grant Instagram. Boom, 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 oh yeah. Hands up, crunch, boom, crunch, pop, crunch, boom, crunch, boom, crunch, ah, oh, boom, there it is. Keep it moving. A couple more times. One more, one more, one more. Slip, two, slip, one, slip, four, slip, three, slip, six, slip, five. Time, shake it out. All right, we're gonna finish off right away. Instagram, ready to lose you. Instagram, well, let's go for an hour. We're going over an hour. Instagram, we'll see you 
Later, you are freaking awesome. Facebook, we're not done. We're not done on Facebook. We're gonna do some more stuff. We're gonna burn out here on Facebook. But Instagram's checking out. They only let you do an hour on live for whatever reason. All right, so let's do it. We are gonna go run and punch here. Run and punch to burn out. High knees, straight punches. Show them it, Tyson. Run and punch. Run and punch, go, 30 seconds. High knees, straight punches. Burn it out. Pumping it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Drive, five, four, three, two, one. Time, and shake it, shake it, shake it. We're gonna go 30 seconds of plank and punch next. Let me lower this down so you can see the plank and punch that he's about to do. That's push up position, reach not, punch in your bag. Going in three, two, one, and go. Look at that, push up position. Yes, yes, yes. Cruising, cruising, look at that, look at that. Popping, reaching out and popping it. Boom, boom. Push up position, bang it out there, bang it out there. So you complete reaching, three seconds, finish it. And time. We're going jack and punch, nice work. We're going jack and punch, so feet are together, hands are here. Your feet jump apart, you punch the back and left, they come in together. They come apart, you punch to the right, they come together. So you're gonna be here, right here. Let's do it, go in three, two, one, go. Jack and punch, jack and punch, pop, 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 pop. Feet apart. Bang it out, pop it out. There it is. Couple more, couple more. Oh yeah. Hands up, hands up, burning this out. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. And we are gonna finish with one last set of run and punch. And you are done, freaks. Run and punch, high knee straight punches. Last set of the day, you got this? You got this last set? Yeah. Let's do it, going in three, two, one. Run and punch, high knee straight punches. This is it, every bit of juice you got left. The rest of your day is going to be easy. Pump this out. You can do this. You will be able to handle anything that comes your way during this day. Any obstacle that comes your way today, you're going to turn into an opportunity. You're going to turn that obstacle into the success. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Nice. Little sucker killed it. Listen, this is what it's all about. Making shit hard, doing the hard shit, seeking out the hard shit in life, not avoiding the hard shit. That makes you weak. That doesn't give you any experiences. That doesn't let you grow and improve and learn and take your lumps. Take your freaking lumps during the day. Take your lumps during the workout. Fight, get the hard shit that you're not so great at. Fail a little bit. Screw up a little bit. That's how you do it. That's how you make it. That's how you learn to have make better decisions later. Have better better judgments later. So let's attack this freaking day. Attack the hill. Attack the day. Attack your life. And that's how you control your life is by attacking it. Not by sitting in a dark corner waiting, trying to wait things out. Make some bold decisions. Take some crazy risks. Set some ridiculous goals for yourself. For whatever you want to do with your health, with your fitness, with your family, with your career. Set some ridiculous goals that people tell you you're crazy. And you're telling them all about your goals and where you want to be and what you want to do in your life with your, with your fitness. Or you want to do this, you want to do that in your career. Or you're a business owner. Or you want to move up the level and get promotions. All these big, crazy dreams you might have. And your friends are just not, not going to be able to relate to you. They're sitting there telling you they're so upset about some, some one of their favorite shows that got canceled on Netflix. Screw that. Get around a different circle if you have to. Those aren't the people you need to be around. You need to be around the people that want your success, that want to lift you up, that are going to help you get in those directions, that are going to feed you and fuel you with energy and positivity and motivation, and then you're going to give back the same. 
That's a circle you need to put yourself around. And do whatever you have to do to get in a circle like that. Whatever you have to do. Don't be stuck in that circle that's just dragging you down into the mud, into the hole. Don't do it. Fuck Netflix. Close your ears. Forget, forget about that. Who cares what show is canceled on Netflix? Sitting there binge watching three, four series in a row of something and they say you don't have time for this, you don't have time for that. And your damn kids are doing this around the house and all that and they're driving you crazy. But yet, you're watching series and series of Netflix. Turn that shit off and maybe go have a talk with them. Go for a walk with them. Go do some boxing with them. Work out with them. Do a puzzle. Build some freaking Legos. Like seriously, that's the way you need to be thinking. Put yourself around those people that are thinking the same way, that same mindset you can relate to. Screw the Netflix. Screw the Netflix. Not saying you can't watch it. We'll watch it here and there. But that's after we earned it. We did all of our other stuff for the day. We got our training session in at, at 3 in the freaking morning. And I'll do another one later on. I gotta still go for a, 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 a run today. I gotta do some shoulders and arms today. A little extra pump later on. So that's what you need to do. I make shit hard. Make life harder and you'll be used to it. You'll be ready for it. When bad shit, shit goes sideways, you'll be ready for it. When disaster strikes, and it will strike, it won't be a disaster because you'll be ready for it. Be like, okay, what's next? Oh, this again? No big deal. And you'll just keep rolling forward. Anyway, have any questions, comments, put them down below. I don't know if there's any comments there. There's our comments. If you need help with anything, this is, your this is your time to do it. If not, I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. Little Freak Show, anything you want to tell them? No! Excuse me! Yes, wake up the neighborhood. I like it, Tice. Here you some. Yes, you are freaking awesome. No excuses. We will talk to you later. Go and kick ass in your day.